Hello, my gorgeous Geminis. This is Debs, and this is your reading for mid-December 2023. Wow, guys, family approaching the end of the year, and my plant is attacking me. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so, Gem, I hope you're well. Now, in a vision, I saw two guys on a riverbank fishing, and there was one guy who was obviously a novice, and the other guy obviously had been doing this for many years. He basically had all the right equipment. He had a really long rod. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, that's what I saw. Freudian slip. Um, he had all the right equipment and he was trying to explain to this novice fisherman um, how to actually get a really big fish. And he was basically saying, you throw the line in the water with a decent sized bait on it, you then wait for the fish to get a little bit of a tug on the line and you don't immediately pull the fish out. You wait until the fish is really hooked and then you pull the fish out, then you'd be successful. And this guy said, oh, okay, right. So they sat there for a couple of hours. Before too long, the experienced fisherman felt a tug on the line and he waited and he waited and he waited and he looked at this novice and said there we go I've got it I've got it pulled the line out and there was nothing on the other end and the novice fisherman laughed and looked at him and said maybe the fish had known that you were going to be fishing in this spot and maybe the fish decided just to take the bait and head off in another direction <laughs> and this professional fisherman looked really embarrassed and he was really cross and he looked at his friend and said well, it always works I don't know why it didn't work I'm just annoyed about this <laughs> so Gemini did somebody try to hook you right did they think that yeah I'm gonna get this person all into me all really excited and then I'm gonna go and get them right Gemini, I think you took the bait, but you decided to head off in another direction. <laughs> and I don't think this guy really knows what to do because you've gone, right? You took the bait, but you swam off in another direction, Gem. Okay, so I think this guy, Gem, is now really keen to wheel you in again, okay? All right, guys. Wow, long intro, but that's what we have. Now, the deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. Everything is down below, guys. If you want to book a private reading with me, the information is there. Um, if you want to join the channel, the link is down below too and all the decks that I use. And I have had a few people asking me if they can buy readings for other people. And that's absolutely fine. If you want a reading as a Christmas present for someone, let me know. All right. OK. OK, Jen. So we have someone here who is now really keen, Gemini, to reel you in, to reel you in. Ooh. Yeah, okay, cards are flying. Seven of swords in the reverse. It didn't work, Gemini, with you. Whatever this person was trying to achieve, maybe, Gemini, you realised what this person was up to. They love the chase, but you may not have been sure that they would have been wanting to move things into a proper connection with you. I think you just disconnected, Gem. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Gemini for mid-December. I'm hearing someone say, thank you, Michael. I know that game. I know that game. Okay. Wow, cars are just jumping. But we're talking about fish, so I'm not surprised. Hmm. Yeah, so this fisherman thought he was all that, but he hadn't come across you, Gemini. <laughs> Have to laugh. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, Gem. Now, um, Gemini, we've got the Three of Swords. We've got the Emperor. And we've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Now, Gemini, somebody may have wanted to take action on you. Right. This is a professional fisherman. Right. The emperor. This is the professional fisherman. Many years of chucking his rod out there and hoping to get a catch. Mm hmm. Didn't work with you, Gem. I think you saw right through this person. 
and you pull back, they are now wanting to get the win, right? Yes, they're wanting to reel you in. <laughs> oh, Gemini. Here we go, guys. Six of Pentacles. Yes. This is someone who put themselves out there hoping to get back in return. But I don't know. I'm hearing the word shady. Jem, did you sort of understand what this person was trying to do somehow? Yeah. Gemini, you understood totally what this person was up to. Charming you romancing you and I think initially you took the bait but then decided to head off in another direction hmm in the past the justice card you were nice and balanced in the past Gemini or you could have gone through a legal situation you could actually have got divorced or something like that hmm after that time Gem with the five of swords you met this person, but you decided not to put effort and energy into this. So you may have listened to their chat up line. You may have spent a few days with them. But after just a few days, I'm not getting any longer than a week, I think you felt something wasn't right and you detached. This person may not have been able to believe it. Oh my God, my plan didn't work. King of Wands. So Gemini, you may have been romanced, pursued by a King of Wands. This is someone extremely attractive. This is somebody who may be used to getting their own way. This is somebody who's charming. They're attractive. They go and get what they want. They're not used, Gemini, to people basically saying no and disconnecting. They're not used to that. In the immediate future, Gem, five of wands, yeah. <laughs> so Gemini, they're on the return. The fisherman is keen to haul you onto dry land. They're determined now. They're actually more determined than they were before. But you detached for a reason, Gemini, because you didn't know if you trusted this person. What you're fearing, Gemini, is being in your head. Were your instincts correct or were they not? There may be a period of time, it could be a couple of days, where when this person reaches out to you, you may wonder if you did the right thing in disconnecting. Was my intuition bang on or was it off? Did I feel that this person had bad intentions or was it just me? You may waver for a couple of days, Gem. But I think that you believe your intuition was spot on. That this is somebody who knows how to play the game. They normally win and they just didn't like the fact that you didn't take the bait, right? In their energy, <laughs> Ace of Wands. They're coming after you again, Gemini. They're trying again. They know that you are very attracted to them. What you're hoping is that you can keep things at a light, playful level before fully delving into this. This is you wanting to figure this person out. So you may, for instance, Jem, allow this person to take you out, right? It might be that you two meet up for a couple of drinks, you have lunch, or you go out for dinner, something like that. But you're gonna keep your distance a little bit. You're just trying to figure out whether or not this person is simply extremely good at what they do, extremely good at pulling people in, saying all the right things, behaving as if butter wouldn't melt in their mouth, right? A charmer. Or whether or not this person genuinely is interested in you. You're on the edge of wondering whether or not your intuition was right in pulling back before. 
The outcome. Knight of Coins. Now, Gemini, this is either this King of Wands realizing that you didn't take the bait and you're not going to take the bait again. So maybe they should come towards you with a serious offer. OK, all right. Gemini is not like the rest of them. They've gone up in my estimation. Maybe I should commit to this person, right? Or Gemini, you may choose to leave this person behind and you could end up with an earth sign rather than a fire sign. We'll see, guys. We will see. Clarification for you. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Your intuition, Gemini, told you that this person had a lot of experience in wooing women. A lot of experience. They knew exactly what to say, exactly what to do. And you may have smiled to yourself when they came on to you thinking, yeah, I have a feeling you've done this before. You may have done this with seven women. But it did leave you in a place of confusion because the attraction was there. Page of Cups. Gemini, you let this person know that you were interested, but I think you detached pretty quickly afterwards because there was simply something about this person you did not trust. It was as if it was so easy for them to charm you, to say all the right things. You almost might have felt it was fake. Is this person faking it so they can get what they want with me and then move on to the next? Still a little bit undecided. This person's energy, mm, two of swords. They can't believe that you put up strong boundaries. They're kind of still reeling um, about the fact that they didn't manage to pull you in. Yeah, they've been feeling a little bit annoyed about that. I don't know why the word annoyed came through. It did. Rather than upset, this person was annoyed that they couldn't pull you in. Their tactic somehow didn't work with you, Gem. Hmm. Underneath the deck, we've got the Magician. <laughs> yeah, um, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio energy. You're the Magician, Gemini. You know, to be honest, that you could start dating this person and put effort into this, but you're just not sure that you trust this person. Were they genuine or was your intuition bang on that this is somebody who has played their cards very, very well, not only with you, but many other people? Mm. So, Jen, we are going to get into this and see where this goes. All right, beautiful gems, let's begin. What have you got for my lovely Geminis? Queen of Swords. So, Gemini, this could be you. Okay, could be connecting with a feminine Gemini. You turned your back on this person because you felt you knew the truth that this is someone who was used to being successful in what they did, what they said, to people that they wanted to spend time with. Very charming. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Page of coins. Gemini, it may have been a shock to this person, but you could have put them in the friend zone. Because with the energy of the hermit, Virgo energy, you didn't know if you trusted this person. You wanted to do some thinking about them. But with the energy of the four of coins, you're going to realise that they have not emotionally let you go. They're still wanting to see if you two could move into a relationship or spend time together. We'll find out what they want. What's your energy? Yeah, Seven of Wands. You're a little bit guarded, Gemini. It's as if you're trying to figure this person out. You're not quite sure about them. Yeah, the moon. You feel that they're not being totally honest with you. Cancerian energy for some. And so this is you pushing your feelings down. And I don't think you've been communicating with this person for a while. You may have simply detached. 
It could be a last text that they sent you or an email they sent you or a phone call. You thought, yeah, this person is a little bit arrogant. They're talking to me as if they've already got me in the bag and they haven't because I'm not sure I trust them. So this is someone who's really keen to try again. <laughs> All right. So what happened in the past with the energy of the Justice card? Gem. All right. Hmm. Wow. Nine of Swords, you went through something very difficult. You could have got divorced. You could have had job issues with Justice and the Nine of Swords. But I think this is when you met this person. Now with justice, which can be a legal contract and the nine of swords, you may have been worried that they were in a relationship with someone else and they were just sort of messing with you. The fool. So Gemini, you could have got wrapped up with an Aries and you decided to take a leap of faith and a risk and then you very sharply pulled back because you felt there was something not quite right in the situation. Or you left another connection in the past and you simply were single. And that's when you met this guy who came through as the fisherman, right? That's when you met this guy. Okay, devil. Whoa. So, Gem, either... You could have met an Aries or a Capricorn or you detached from a toxic situation with somebody else in the past that might have left you feeling a little bit nervous, a bit battle scarred, not trusting people. Or with the energy of the devil, you knew that this person was a bit obsessed with you, but you felt this was in some way toxic. They might have been a bit over the top with you and you may have thought, yeah, I can see right through you. Hmm. This person was absolutely convinced, if this is the right message, that you would sort of just fall into their arms, right? Oh, it's going to be so easy with Gemini. Yeah, no, uh, it wasn't Gem. You're a bit more savvy than that. So with the Five of Swords, I think you took the bait initially, but then you sort of wriggled free, you left, you detached. There was something that you felt wasn't right with the Five of Swords. You disconnected. You disconnected. Yeah. With the energy of the Star Gem, you disconnected because you didn't know whether or not this was going to be all your wishes coming true or whether or not this person would break your heart and you would then have to heal. And because you may have gone through something a little bit difficult in the past, you may have thought, I just can't go through heartbreak again. So I'm going to detach while the going is good. I'm going to nip this in the bud early. I'm not going to be charmed by this person. Yeah, Gemini, something didn't feel right. Something didn't feel right. Hi, Priestess. You thought this person was hiding something, keeping secrets from you. So you disconnected and there was no conversation after that period of time. Hmm. Now, Gemini, remember, this can be totally switched. Take it as it resonates. What was your energy in the immediate past? Just to check, Gem. Yeah, you're single. Nine of Pentacles, single person. Okay. So you're single, or you were single, but there was something about the situation you just didn't trust. It was almost too good to be true. And you thought, yeah, I just don't feel as if this person is genuinely into me. They're saying all the right things, but I'm not getting a genuine response from them. It may almost have felt, Gemini, as if this person was play acting, as if they'd done this before, you know? Hmm. So, Gemini, in your head is the King of Wands. What's the King of Wands energy for my Geminis? Two of Wands. So Gemini, you're kind of sat on the fence. 
I don't know if this person is being genuine with me or they're sat in their shadow. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're just confused. Hierophant, you felt a strong spiritual connection with this person, Gemini. But you may have thought to yourself, were they married and they just wanted a fling? Or did they actually feel that I was the one? Which is why they sort of made it really obvious that they wanted to be with me. Could have connected with a Taurian. Five of coins. Was I right in leaving them out in the cold? Did I do the right thing? Or not? You're now questioning yourself, Gem. But your first immediate reaction to something is usually the right one because you're totally going with your intuition. So there may have been something not quite right about this person. But you're undecided. You're undecided. Yeah, again, two of pentacles. Did I do the right thing? In believing they were a little bit suspect which is why I pulled back was it the right thing to do you're not questioning yourself so my beautiful Gemini's we've got the five of wands and the ace of wands this is someone who can't believe that you detach from them two of swords they've been sitting feeling really sorry for themselves with the four of cups they are hoping for a passionate new start with the ace of wands you're conflicted with the five of wands you just don't know if they're for real, you know? So Archangel Michael, do we have timing for my lovely Geminis? Thank you, Michael. January the 10th to the 22nd. January the 10th to the 22nd. Okay, guys. So I would say hmm, second to the third week of Jan, this person's going to be trying to get back in touch with you. What are they thinking about? What are they thinking about? Knight of Cups. Now, this can be a love bombing energy, but we'll see. Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups. This is them approaching you, Gem. Because they feel that they didn't get what they wanted. They may feel very disappointed that you detached from them. What are they thinking about? Yeah, three of wands. They're undecided as to whether or not if they try again, it's going to be successful. They don't know. What's their energy? Okay. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. They've been looking at the past. They've been looking at the effort they put into this, but they still don't know if you're going to open the door. They just don't know. So it may have been seven months since you last heard from this person, something like that. How do they genuinely feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? They feel it's make or break, death card. They feel that either you're going to close the door, lock the door and say, I don't know why you're back because I pushed you away before, or this is going to transform. They can get you back in their life. They don't know, but they're going to try again. <laughs> wow, this person is persistent, Gemini. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Gemini, they are going to push the boat out this time. They're going to push the boat out this time. They are coming in with a serious offer to commit. Have you tamed the player, Gemini? You may have done. You may have tamed the player. If they initially wanted a little bit of fun with you Gemini the fact that you detached pulled back and you haven't communicated with them was a shock they didn't expect you to do that so in between the time that you disconnected 
their appreciation and their respect for you, Gemini, has grown because you weren't like the rest. And I think because of that, this person now really wants to be with you, really wants to be with you. They may have known that you knew that they just wanted, you know, a little bit of fun. And so this is somebody who has been figuring out what they really wanted from you. So this isn't somebody coming back, Gemini, trying all over again to have a bit of a fling with you. No, they're serious this time. It's as if, wow, that is a strong, confident woman to push me back. Because remember, this is somebody very attractive, charming, romantic, good looking, right? And you weren't having any of it. And because of that, Gemini, they now realise that they want you. <laughs> that was a bit of a surprise, Gem, I have to admit. What are they thinking about? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Three of Cups. They're coming in to win you back, Gemini. And they're really serious this time. This is somebody not playing games. This is somebody who's not going to try and chat you up. You may even feel that when you see them again, their energy is different. They're not quite so confident. They may even come forward to you, Gemini, slightly embarrassed. <laughs> now, Gemini, you're sat in the Five of Wands. You're ready to call this person out. You may be a bit defensive when they initially reach out to you. Yeah, because what you're thinking about, Gemini, is they just want to win me. They didn't win me before, so they're trying again. You may feel this person is just sat in arrogance, sat in ego. But what you're going to realise, Gemini, with the Four of Wands, is that they are quite serious. It might floor you. You might think, hang on, this is not the same guy. This guy in the past, I'm pretty certain, was the biggest player on the planet. The person that's coming towards me seems very different. They're more serious. They're more settled. They're not telling me all these chat-up lines anymore. Their aura has changed. Because, Gemini, this is somebody who seriously wants you. Yeah. Gemini, you're still going to hold back. Energy of the strength card, Leo. You're still holding back. You want to figure out whether or not your instinct this time is correct. That they do have good intentions. They do want to make this work with you. But you also may not quite know what to say. You could be a bit tongue-tied. Because you're expecting to stand your ground to hold back from this person, to be defensive, to call them out. But the energy they're coming in with is much softer. They've humbled themselves. They're not sitting on their high horse anymore. And they may come back to you rather embarrassed, right? I mean, that guy looks a little bit embarrassed. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, I was sitting in player energy before, but I really want you, Gem, now. I really want you. You were the only one that stood up to me. You were the one that disconnected from me. Mm. What's on your mind? Yeah. The lovers. Gemini, this is your card. There is a very strong attraction between you two and a past life energy to boot. Are you realising this could be the one for you now? You're going to think about it, Four of Swords. You're going to think about it. I'm almost getting the impression that you're going to be, for some of you, meditating on this. Can I really trust this person? What you're realising, Gemini, is they have changed. They have changed. You, I think, have tamed the player. I keep hearing that. Yeah. This is your person, Gemini. Wheel of Destiny. 
And what you're realising is they're serious. They're coming in a bit tail between the legs. Oh, yeah, mm, I was sitting in player energy before, but now I really want this Gemini. I want this Gemini. Gemini stood up to me and I kind of liked it. Yes. And what you're looking at, Gemini, is you could start a relationship with this person. You may feel in many ways that it was destiny that things worked out this way. Because again, their, their respect for you has grown. I think in the past, Gemini, they may have pigeonholed you as being naive, very trusting, somebody they could just enjoy time with and then ditch. Yeah, no, Gemini. <laughs> uh, I think that when you detached, this person was pretty shocked because they didn't expect it. What is the energy between you two? This is turning into a beautiful reading, guys. Unexpected. Yeah, the sun. Mm -hmm. A lot of Leo here with the strength card and the sun and the six of wands. Somebody here definitely has a lot of Leo in their chart. You two are now enlightened about each other. This person is realising they can't pull the wool over your eyes. Their sweet words mean nothing to you at all. They've got to treat you with a little bit more respect. You're pretty intelligent, Gemini. You can see straight through this person. And what you're realising is they have changed. Their energy has changed. Right? They've thought about this connection quite seriously before coming back to you. You're going to feel it. And because of that, this is you reconsidering spending time with them, realising that this could actually move forward. So Gemini, this is gorgeous. We end with the Knight of Coins. I think this is you giving this guy a shot. I think this is you taking it slowly, but believing that this could work this time around. So what is the energy of the Knight of Coins, Michael? Six of Swords. You two are simply moving to calmer waters. Yeah. They've learned their lesson. You may also have learned your lesson, Gemini, in that detaching from this person was the right thing to do. You didn't feel that they were sitting in the right energy before. So this is now going to work. Yeah, temperance. You two are going to move forward into this connection. You're going to take it slowly. This person isn't being ruled by their nether regions, right? They know that you're pretty intelligent, Gemini. They can't mess you around because if they try it, then you're simply going to detach. This is you two making this work, actually. Yeah, King of Swords. This is someone who's shifting from the King of Wands, behaving impulsively in a rather ego-driven manner. They're shifting into the King of Swords. They know they've got to be honest and upfront with you in order to win you back. They are tempering any energy of strategy that they were sitting in before, a bit of manipulation, they're tempering that because they really want this to work. You've tamed the player. Gemini. <laughs> You've tamed the player. I love it. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Gemini, this is going to move forward. This person has the utmost respect for you now. I think they've seen you in a very different light. You are not somebody that they can just have a little bit of fun with and then to just toss to one side. With the energy of the Ace of Cups, you have appreciation for the fact that they've changed. Their aura is very different. They don't want to play the field anymore. They don't want to sit in this strategic, charming, player type energy. They really just want to be with you. This has a good chance of working out. What is this guy's energy? Anything else? Yeah. 
He now realises that you're the one, Nine of Cups. Not only am I very attracted to Gemini, not only is the chemistry definitely there, but she's intelligent and she doesn't take any BS. And this guy likes that. <laughs> he likes that. I think it caused him frustration to begin with, but he likes that. Yeah. So with the Six of Cups, guys, you two are coming back together again. You may have a bit of a chuckle about the past. <laughs> yeah, eight of wands. I mean, you may talk about the fact that, yeah, I didn't know if you would come back that I would get very angry with you. I didn't know if you come out with all of this love bombing type energy. And if you did, I was going to push you away. You may have a laugh about this. Or well, this is simply you two coming back together again and lots of passionate messages, right? This is now moving forward, but not as a fling situation that's going to be fleeting as a proper relationship. Because they've realised your worth, Gem. Yeah. Chariot, Cancerian energy. If you two live apart, you're going to travel to see each other as much as you can, or this is simply going to be moving forward. Beautiful. Judgment. Gemini, you may need to make a serious judgment call about this connection in the next few months. It could be to take it to the next level. I don't think this guy wants to lose you again. I just don't. Yeah. You're going to need to make the judgment call as to whether or not you are willing to put in a lot more effort because this could get very serious. Page of Swords. You two may talk about, I don't know, if you're of the age having children or you two may talk to each other about moving in together in the future. What is going to be the topic of discussion here? Oh, wow. Empress, yeah. Maybe starting a family or maybe even talking about marriage, getting hitched, right? Empress's wife, Empress's mother. This person may want to introduce you to his mother I want you to meet my parents, that sort of thing. It could be, oh my goodness, this is you realising this is going to get serious. But this is all good. This is all good. Yeah, guys, you're going to be moving into the Ten of Cups. I mean, this is a lot of happiness. This person knows they can't mess you around and they know that if they try to in the future, you're just going to disconnect. And you're realising that you've tamed the player. <laughs> <laughs> Tame the player. I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself. The world. Yeah. So you two are moving forward into a beautiful new cycle. You two may even be moving in the future. So if there is any distance between the two of you, you're going to talk about one of you moving to live with the other. But Gem, this is absolutely beautiful. Do we have a final card for Gemini? Oh, yeah. So you guys are going to simply fall in love. I mean, it sounds really corny, Gemini, but that's what that is. Are you ready? So when this guy comes back to you, Gemini, don't immediately assume that he is just going to mess you around, play with you for a little bit, okay, and then chuck you back in the water. No, this is somebody who wants you for keeps, Hmm. But it's interesting because your intuition was bang on before. He was wanting more of a lighthearted connection. This time, because you pushed him away, he is coming back wanting to lock you down. <laughs> Classic. All right, my gems, I am leaving the reading there. Have a fantastic rest of December and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, gem.